Hey guys, I am all winter geared out because it is minus 49 with the wind chill where I live and I'm about to go into the thrift store. So let's go in. This is the first thrift with me of the year and I am so excited. I haven't been to the thrift store in a few weeks now so I cannot wait. So like I said, let's just go into the thrift store right now.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am now back home and I'm gonna show you what all I got at the thrift store. So let's start strong with these watermelon pot holders. Aren't these just the cutest you've ever seen? They were only 50 cents each and I just think they are so cute and they're actually quite thick and luscious. I think they will be interesting when you take your turkey dinner or whatever dinner you're making for the night out of the oven, more interesting. I then got this purse I wish you guys could feel how soft and luscious the leather feels. It is a very worn feeling leather. I think this purse is probably from the, I would guess, 80s. But um, everything is actually in really great condition. The inside of all of the pockets are really clean and um, they're really clean and in good, really good condition. But yeah, it has a bunch of different pockets. I was really wanting to get a new purse for this year and I was hoping to find a vintage purse and I did. I found a color I really, really like. So I only paid, I think I only paid $3.50 for this purse and I cannot wait to wear it and switch over some of my things into this purse. But yeah, there's like an adjustable strap so you can wear this long or short like this. I then got this little mini coin purse. I love these little coin purses that have these little latchet latches. I can't remember what you call these, but I think it's like just a coin pouch. But um, yes, a 50 cent coin pouch that I want to use for something in my new purse. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually use it for money or what, but I'm gonna use it to organize some things in my new purse, so. Really nice neutral color and really good condition, only 50 cents. Okay, next is this little mini teapot I found. It was only 50 cents. I'm not sure if it came with the lid originally. It doesn't really have one of those little lips that teapots usually have. So I'm not sure if this was used for, um, I don't know, like a little container to put spoons or whatnot, or if this was just a dollhouse teapot, but the maker, is the bottom of the teapot says Taiwan and I think these are called the Brown Betty teapots. I think that's what my mom calls them. But yes, this was only 50 cents and I was thinking that I would use this for flowers. I think that would really look cute or to hold some type of teaspoons or hold something. Some teapots I find I'm really drawn to. Sometimes even though the lids are missing, I just feel like kindred spirits, like I feel them. I feel bad that, they're, that their tops are missing. But yes, I really love this little brown teapot. I then got this tablecloth. I'm kind of one of those centerpiece. Here, I'll back up a little bit. It's like one of these centerpiece uh, tablecloths. There is a couple stains and the linen does feel a little um, greasy feeling or heavy feeling. I hope that I can, I hope that I can wash this out, but I just love the fruit pattern on it and the blue. It just looks really pretty and I think that'll look really nice on my table. And I only paid 50 cents for this pretty tablecloth. Next, I found this really neat, this really neat clock. Can you hear it ticking? It just looks like a very classic, uh, very classic clock. Um, it says Equity Quartz Hong Kong. It feels very heavy, has a little doorway to get to the battery and the mechanisms. I'm not sure how old this is, but I've been actually looking for a clock for my mantle. I really would love to find a like English style, very ornate looking clock, but I haven't found one, but I just thought this one was really pretty and I just love the gold color to it. And I paid $5.50 for this. Next up is just a lone egg, a little lone egg cup. Um, I just really like the flower designs, floral designs on here all really dainty flowers as you go around. Really pretty. All different design of flowers, like each side has different flowers as you can see. And I paid 50 cents for this. And the maker is Bosher Wyden, if I'm saying that right. But yes, I just couldn't leave this little egg cup behind. Easter is coming up soon. 
just a reminder. Okay, and then I just have these little teacup saucers. There was no teacups that went with these. Um, I don't know if I, I think I've explained in other videos that I do collect these to use for, you know, snack plates, putting cut up fruit on here, crackers, just, I don't know, little side plates. They're like little mini side plates. So I just really like teacup saucers. So there is this one and it is by Bali Bone China Century Rose. Actually, that label is really pretty. And I paid $1.50 for it. And I'm actually just noticing now, look at these like really pretty moth or butterfly with the roses. I just really find this pattern super pretty. And then this one, it's like really heavy actually, this saucer. And it has a silver, um, like a silver pattern and silver border around it. And this one is Royal Stafford Bone China, made in England. That one was also $1.50. And then this one is very springtime feeling pastels. This one is fine bone roslyn made in England in the pattern Garland. But as you can see, really pretty. And I can't wait to put some sliced apples on this. So $1.50 each for each of these little teacup saucers. Next is this white blouse. This is from the brand Beach Lunch Lounge. I'm not really familiar with it, but this is like a linen type of shirt. And I know it's not the weather for it right now. I think it's like minus 45 out where I live right now. This is definitely not the shirt for it, but I'm preparing myself for spring and summer coming soon. And I never can resist these really pretty peasant style white blouses. And I paid and I paid five fifty. I paid five fifty for this shirt, and it's in really great conditions. No stains or tears. It's like nobody ever wore this shirt. All right, next is really neat. Actually, I found this um, bathroom vanity set. Is that what you would call it? Um, really heavy glass toothbrush holder and a soap dish. Look at how good condition that is. It's in this yellow, white with gold pattern um no chips or anything and it is made in japan and i just loved when i found this this is really unique i can't wait to put this in some bathroom in my house i paid a dollar fifty each for this so three dollars for the set and this is gonna really brighten up the bathroom okay next is this little mini vase i think it's a vase because it's a tiny little hole but it says home sweet home in blue writing i just think this is so cute i just love miniatures so i was so happy to find this it was only 50 cents and yeah i can't wait to put that to use all right next is some more dishes so it's in this very simple pattern it has orange border with some dainty looking flowers i was really looking for some more side plates because i only have six five or six side plates so i thought that i would just add a few more to my collection and i really just like this because all my all my plates are mostly white so this is this is mostly white with a little bit of orange and flowers and i love flowers so i just wanted to add these to my collection um, for, for everyday use dishes. And this is Plank and Hammer Bavaria, I think is what it's called. And each plate was 50 cents and I got five of these plates. So um, $2.50 for all these side plates. All right, and the next item is actually an item that I am most excited about and it is this teapot. Now, I don't need another teapot in my life, but I couldn't pass up this gorgeous teapot. I think it is so unique. Um, it actually was sold as as is at the thrift store for $2.50 because of it being broken and looks like put back together on the inside of the teapot as well as broken in a couple spots. But um, for only $2.50, and I'm really only gonna use this for it to be decorative. But when I first saw it, I actually thought that this teapot was older than it was. Um, the label and the gold lettering kind of made me think that it was maybe early 1900s, but it is actually, I think, from 1950. But I just think this is a really unique teapot. In person, I think it looks 
better than on film. Maybe it does look better to you guys on camera, but I just love this, like, this golden color. Like, pink is usually my favorite color, but this gold with the, if, can you guys see the gold floral pattern going up here? This just looks like such an elegant old teapot, and things like this just really excite me. Look at even, I don't know if you guys can see, but on the inside of the spout is actually like whole gold looking. And anyway, this is a Sudlow's Burslem Made in England teapot. I think it says what type, what it's called, Rita Art in England. I'd have to look up a bit more about this teapot. But I'm very excited to add this teapot to my collection. What do you guys think of this teapot? Do you think it was worth the $250? Now, I got a couple of plates that are actually going to be used for decorative purposes. Now, I already own a, quite a few plates that I want to actually put on my wall and make some type of plate wall, uh, like a plate, like a wall of plates and have kind of like an English country type of vibe going but I got this plate to add to this idea and it was $1.50 and it, it's called Bernadotte Czechoslovakia Sonata plate but I just really think the colors are pretty look at this little fancy filigree I think this will look really pretty with the other plates that I have in mind and then I have this plate that I also got for $1.50 this one is called Dominion China um, and it won this one was actually 450 so it was a bit more pricey but this actually plates this old I usually see them with dings at the thrift store and little cracks but this one has no chips no cracking really it is actually in very good condition I love the pink and burgundy flower and the gold around it and like I said I'm gonna make like a um, plate wall of a bunch of really neat looking plates that will look really pretty so that is actually all that I got at the thrift store for my first New Year thrift haul of the year and I think it was a pretty good haul um, I feel like the thrift store was the thrift store that I frequent was still um, kind of getting away from the Christmas time and you know I still seen some things that I seen from a month ago still on the shelves so um, anyways um, I think I did all right today what do you guys think so um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you guys are having a really great new year hope you guys had a really good holidays with your family what all did you guys end up doing this year for Christmas that is it for today and I will see you guys next time in my next video. As always, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.